the Big Six model of research. Research deadline Friday, ah! What's the matter, Penguin? I have a research project due Friday. Oh, is that all? No need to scream, says you. Do you want some help? There is no helping a penguin with a research project of this magnitude. You just need to break it down into the big six research steps. Of course, there are steps I should have known. Step one, task definition. Figure out what subject you're researching and think about what you're going to do with that information. It helps to think of a research question to guide you. Good questions can't be answered in a quick internet search and start with what, why, or how. Create a t-chart to show what you know about the subject and what you need to know. Uh, okay, I'll try it. I'm researching pandas. I'm going to be doing a project. My question is, why are pandas good pets and how do I care for one? I know they're black and white like me and they're cute and fuzzy. I need to know where they live, what they eat, and why they would make good pets. So far, so good. Step two, the next step, is brainstorming your sources. We should always start with really reputable sites like databases and books. Then think about other sources you might use, like websites that you know have quality information, and of course, experts like people. You will also need to think about how you will search for your information with search terms and phrases. Be sure to check your spelling here. Spelling is very important. I'm going to be using databases at school, a book on pandas, endangered ones, that I got from the library, uh, the San Diego Zoo website, and I'm going to interview the director of the Cincinnati Zoo. I need to look up pandas and diet, pandas and pets, and pandas and habitats. Great job! Step three is where you find your sources. It helps sometimes to write down specifics about what you have to do and where you have to go or what skills you need to be efficient in finding your information. And then you also want to list out who can help you. Hmm. I already know I'm going to be using our online database, so I for sure need the password there. I'm going to use our library catalog. I want to check out the 599 section of our library. I'm going to focus on finding websites that have .edu or .org in them. And when I find books, I'll need to double check the table of contents, the index, and I'll also make sure I scan text features. If I need help, I'll ask a librarian. You're on a roll. Step four, take some time. This is where you go out and find your sources and actually use them. You need to make sure you write down your source information. Think about your need to know questions from step one and write down notes in your own words or use quotations around copied work that answer your research question. Okay, I'm writing down my source information and this takes forever. Why do I have to do it? You have to keep track of your sources in your project so you can give credit in your project and avoid plagiarism. So I guess it's pretty important. Here's some notes on pandas I copied from the San Diego Zoo website. See? I put it in quotations so I would know that I copied it. Perfect, Penguin. You're pretty much ready for step five. Once you've collected all your notes, it's time to synthesize. Here, you decide on your subtopics. Finalize how you will share your work. Make rough drafts, conference, and edit. I'm definitely going to make a pal tune with my information. Step six is evaluation. Decide if you're proud of your work, review your rubric, and make final corrections so that you can turn in your work. And then, that's it. I can do this. Ah! What's the matter now, Penguin? Pandas can't be pets! I could have told you that.